the wait is finally over. After years of struggles, development hurdles, and technological advancements, the Hydrogen e-bike has made its debut. This groundbreaking innovation promises to revolutionize personal transportation, combining the benefits of electric bikes with the environmental advantages of hydrogen fuel cells. Let's start the journey of the Hydrogen e-bike, the challenges faced along the way, and why it is poised to change the landscape of eco-friendly commuting. And be sure to subscribe, like our videos, and share your thoughts in the comments below. The Long Road to Hydrogen E-Bikes The concept of hydrogen-powered bicycles isn't new. For years, scientists and engineers have been exploring the potential of hydrogen as a clean, efficient fuel source. However, the path to a commercially viable hydrogen e-bike has been fraught with challenges. Initial prototypes faced numerous technical issues, including the size and weight of hydrogen fuel cells, the efficiency of energy conversion, and the infrastructure needed for refueling. One of the significant hurdles was the development of compact, lightweight hydrogen fuel cells that could provide adequate power for a bicycle without making it too heavy or unwieldy. Early models often ended up being too bulky or expensive, making them impractical for everyday use. Additionally, the lack of refueling stations posed a significant challenge, as hydrogen infrastructure is not as widespread as electric charging stations. Technological Breakthroughs Recent advancements in hydrogen fuel cell technology have addressed many of these issues. Modern hydrogen fuel cells are more compact and efficient than ever before, allowing them to be integrated seamlessly into the design of an e-bike. These fuel cells work by combining hydrogen with oxygen to produce electricity, with water vapor as the only byproduct. This process is not only efficient, but also environmentally friendly, making hydrogen e-bikes a green alternative to traditional modes of transportation. Furthermore, the development of onboard hydrogen storage solutions has made it possible to store hydrogen safely and efficiently, even in small quantities. This means that hydrogen e-bikes can now travel significant distances on a single charge, comparable to or even exceeding the range of traditional electric bikes. For instance, some hydrogen e-bike models can travel up to 150 kilometers, about 93 miles, on a single charge, significantly extending the range compared to many battery-powered e-bikes. The Benefits of Hydrogen E-Bikes Hydrogen e-bikes offer several compelling advantages over their battery-powered counterparts. Firstly, they boast significantly shorter refueling times. While recharging an electric bike battery can take several hours, refueling a hydrogen e-bike takes just a few minutes, similar to filling up a car with gasoline. This convenience makes hydrogen e-bikes an attractive option for commuters and long-distance cyclists. Another key benefit is their extended range. Hydrogen fuel cells provide a higher energy density than lithium-ion batteries, allowing hydrogen e-bikes to travel longer distances without needing a recharge. This makes them ideal for longer commutes and reduces the need for frequent stops to recharge, addressing one of the major limitations of electric bikes. For example, a hydrogen e-bike can offer a range of up to 100 miles, which is a significant improvement over many electric bikes that typically range between 20 to 50 miles on a single charge. Moreover, hydrogen e-bikes contribute to a cleaner environment. As hydrogen fuel cells produce only water vapor as a byproduct, they do not emit any harmful pollutants or greenhouse gases. This aligns with global efforts to reduce carbon emissions and combat climate change, making hydrogen e-bikes a sustainable transportation choice. Overcoming Infrastructure Challenges One of the most significant challenges for the widespread adoption of hydrogen e-bikes is the development of hydrogen refueling infrastructure. Currently, hydrogen refueling stations are relatively scarce, primarily concentrated in certain urban areas and regions with significant investment in hydrogen technology. To support the growth of hydrogen e-bikes, it is crucial to expand this infrastructure, making refueling accessible and convenient for all users. Governments and private companies are beginning to invest in the development of hydrogen refueling stations. For example, in several countries, initiatives are underway to create networks of hydrogen stations along major transportation routes and in urban centers. As this infrastructure expands, the practicality and appeal of hydrogen e-bikes will continue to grow. In Japan, for instance, there are plans to increase the number of hydrogen refueling stations to 900 by 2030.
significantly boosting the infrastructure needed for hydrogen-powered vehicles, including e-bikes. Market Potential and Future Prospects The market potential for hydrogen e-bikes is vast. As urban areas become more congested and environmental concerns mount, there is a growing demand for clean, efficient, and sustainable transportation solutions. Hydrogen e-bikes fit perfectly into this niche, offering a viable alternative to both traditional bicycles and electric bikes. Several companies have already launched hydrogen e-bike models targeting both the consumer market and fleet operations. For instance, urban delivery services and postal companies are exploring hydrogen e-bikes as a way to reduce their carbon footprint and improve efficiency. Additionally, hydrogen e-bikes are gaining traction among eco-conscious consumers who seek sustainable transportation options without compromising on performance or convenience. Companies like Pragma Industries and Lind have been at the forefront, developing hydrogen-powered bikes that cater to both private users and commercial entities. Looking ahead, the future of hydrogen e-bikes appears promising. As technology continues to advance, we can expect further improvements in fuel cell efficiency, range, and cost. Moreover, as the hydrogen infrastructure expands, refueling will become more convenient, further boosting the adoption of hydrogen e-bikes. According to a report by Markets & Markets, the hydrogen fuel cell market is expected to grow from $16.9 billion in 2021 to $46.4 billion by 2026, driven by increased demand for clean energy solutions. Early Adopters of Hydrogen E-Bikes Early adopters of hydrogen e-bikes provide valuable insights into the practical applications and benefits of this technology. For example, the city of Nantes in France has introduced a fleet of hydrogen-powered bikes for public use, aiming to reduce urban congestion and pollution. These bikes have been well-received, demonstrating the feasibility and appeal of hydrogen e-bikes in an urban setting. In another instance, a delivery company in Germany has integrated hydrogen e-bikes into their fleet, significantly reducing their operational carbon footprint. The company's decision to switch to hydrogen e-bikes was driven by the need for a sustainable solution that could handle long distances and frequent stops without extensive downtime for recharging. Environmental Impact The environmental benefits of hydrogen e-bikes extend beyond zero-emission travel. The production of hydrogen can be done through renewable energy sources such as wind, solar, and hydroelectric power, making the entire life cycle of hydrogen e-bikes environmentally friendly. Additionally, hydrogen production methods are continually improving, reducing the carbon footprint associated with hydrogen fuel. Furthermore, the use of hydrogen e-bikes can alleviate traffic congestion in urban areas, leading to fewer emissions from idling cars and improved air quality. This makes hydrogen e-bikes not only a sustainable choice for individual users, but also a beneficial option for urban planning and public health. The Role of Policy and Regulation Government policies and regulations play a crucial role in the adoption and success of hydrogen e-bikes. Incentives such as subsidies, tax breaks, and grants for hydrogen technology development can accelerate the growth of this market. Policies aimed at reducing carbon emissions and promoting sustainable transportation can also support the adoption of hydrogen e-bikes. For instance, the European Union's Green Deal includes measures to boost hydrogen infrastructure and technology, providing a supportive environment for the development and adoption of hydrogen e-bikes. Similarly, in California, the Zero Emission Vehicle ZEV, program promotes the use of clean vehicles, including hydrogen-powered transportation options. The arrival of hydrogen e-bikes marks a significant milestone in the evolution of personal transportation. After years of development and overcoming numerous challenges, this innovative technology is finally ready to hit the roads. With their quick refueling times, extended range, and environmental benefits, Hydrogen e-bikes offer a compelling alternative to traditional bicycles and electric bikes. As infrastructure improves and market demand grows, hydrogen e-bikes have the potential to revolutionize urban commuting and pave the way for a cleaner, greener future. The journey has been long, but the destination, a world where sustainable, efficient, and convenient transportation is accessible to all, is now within reach. 
we hope you enjoy our video. And if there are any upcoming releases you're excited about, let us know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.